Hello guys, it is Mr. Daniel 7 and welcome back to the second episode of Rewind to Championship Manager 2010 on the Mega Gaming Nerd. No, not the Mega Gaming Nerd. I'm thinking of the Gaming Nerd, who is also one of the directors on this Mega Gaming Trio channel and also if you're watching this on my Mr. Downloads 97 HD channel, welcome to you guys. But this is the second episode of my Wigan save. And we are, as you can see, ninth in the Premier League. And last time we showed you the results it was a long time ago in this save, to be honest. The no, September time. And we are in January, mid January. So we've got a lot to catch up with you guys on. Everton, we drew 1-1 at home. Pretty good result for us. I mean, Everton are a decent side. They are 11th in the table, so we are higher than them now. Um, Birmingham, next up, we faced Birmingham at home. And we did draw 2 all, followed by a 1-1 draw at Liverpool, which was a great result for us. I mean, to draw against a top side like Liverpool is a top result. I mean, we were going through a little draw period and then we lost to Portsmouth at Fratton Park 1 0. Not a great result, but we followed that up with a magnificent win against Chelsea 1 0. We scored quite early on and then pretty much parked the bus because we weren't going to score again. And we didn't, but they didn't score either, which was the main thing. To keep a clean sheet, for David Espina to keep a clean sheet against Chelsea is a great result. And will give him massive confidence. And then we did draw 1-1 against Bolton. I mean, could have won, but, you know, we'll take 1-1. And then a very, very nervous game to manage championship manager was a 3 all draw against Wolverhampton Wanderers I mean possibly we could have done it better because we did take the lead three times but we just kept on conceding goals Arsenal 2-1 victory brilliant result once again the team were in good you know hands at this time we were getting some good results in the month of November coming into December as well we beat Hull 3-1 pretty much you know we should be beating Hull that kind of team 3-1 a result is very good to have a you 3-1 know, victory quite an easy victory but then we lost 2-0 against Aston Villa who are a very good team on this game then we followed that up with a oopsie daisy 2-0 defeat of Fulham followed by a 2-1 loss to Tottenham once again a very good team on this game and then very surprisingly we only managed a 1-1 draw against Barnet a replay was needed but we had them 5-0 followed by a 4-3 win against Blackburn however much a win is a win a 4-3 win isn't too good because, you know, that shows signs of defensive errors. But there is a reason that for our defensive errors in those get in that game. And also against Man United. Maybe we should have grabbed a point. Our defence were lacking a bit at the start. So the reasons for these lacking, you know, defensive is because we have let four defenders go essentially we let Charles and Zobbia go to Manchester United for 7.5 million pretty good for them I mean he wasn't the great he wasn't doing as well as I thought he would be Emerson Boyce as well we let him go he isn't really going to be a big part and we can get some better players in also Mario Melchiot we let him go to West Ham both for 1.7 and 1.6 respectively because of the fact that at right back we had got Ryan Taylor and 
Van der Veel, all younger than, both younger than him, and both a bigger potential than him. And then Paul Shartner, two point nine million at two West Brom. I think that's that team he's actually at in real life at the moment. What well, he was, whether he's still at them, I'm not sure. But then we bought in two players at the moment. Fabrizio Micheli, 5.4 million from Palmero, and 4.5 million for Di Maria, who is at Real Madrid in real life. We are quickly going to check. Oh, Roger Johnson, let's add him to the collection of signings. Should go through. Yeah. And then they want a bit more. We're not giving them we'll put it in but I doubt we'll pay that three million for Suchi he's a very good player on this game so I highly recommend him but we need one more defender really and it's just down to whoever we can pick up cheaper because Rivas and Jonas Olsen are both very good players I'll show you their stats now quickly we haven't fully scouted him, but he looks like a bit of a bounce. And my scout said he's an outstanding, you know, transfer if we get him. And Jonas Olsen, he looks like a beast as well. 26. You know, there's a bit of growth in him. But that is it for me, guys. In the next save, you should see somewhere near the end of this season, we are ninth in the Premier League. Pretty good. They want us to uh, not get relegated. 20 games gone, 8 wins, 5 draws and 7 losses, 26 goals against and 28. 4, so 2 goal difference and we have got 29 points. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure you click subscribe to my channel, Mr. Downwells97. My second channel, Mr. Downwells97 HD. And mega gaming trio and you know this has been rewind to championship manager 2010 and i am out